Okay, so you are going to write an outline for an argument essay, and you're going to be making the claim that the person who killed Fannin was customer C. And you're going to use the evidence from the activity we did yesterday to support this argument. You do need to write this in complete sentences. Um, I don't want you just using bullets or taking quick notes. Um, however, this is not going to be turned into a final draft of an actual argument essay. It is simply a practice for me to see if you know um, where to put what when you're writing an argument essay um, so that you'll be prepared when you have to write the essay for social studies. So to begin with, if you take a look at the introductory paragraph, um, just like before, it starts with a hook. A hook is something that gets our attention. So it could be a quote. Maybe you make up a quote from the investigator, or it could be a quote from Ernie. Um, it could be Ernie's actual quote. Um, it could be a um, question, something like, um, will... Fannin, uh, the famous racketeer's uh, murderer, ever be found. Um, it could also just be a really interesting fact, like, um, you know, infamous racketeer Fannin um, murdered in Ernie's lunchroom. So um, just something to grab our attention. Then the background on the topic would just be the information that we were told um, up at the very beginning of the activity page yesterday, just about the fact that it was a Thursday, there's been a murder, Fannin was his name, um, and the information that Ernie told the investigators, just to give the reader a background on, you know, what happened. Um, and then finally, your thesis statement, which is your claim, your claim that customer C was the murderer of Fannin. You then move into body paragraph one. As always, you would have to start with a topic sentence. Um, the topic sentence will simply introduce your first piece of evidence. Maybe it's the footsteps um, that were labeled X that led from the three bar stools um, over towards the handprint and then out the front door. Maybe it's introducing the um, left-handedness of the shooter. Um, maybe it is introducing the fact that all three of them were friends and we know that all three of them walked out the front door and are now missing. Um, but regardless, you want to start with what you consider to be your weakest piece of evidence and move then find at the end into your strongest piece of evidence. But you're simply just introducing um, the first piece of evidence here. Here, um, you will further explain the details of that evidence, what specific um, evidence did the investigators find, um, you know, what specific, specifically which way were footprints pointing, specifically which, um, what was the total of the bills or what, where was the silverware, very specifics about the evidence. And then this is where you would actually write any warrants where you would explain just in common sense everyday knowledge why this evidence up here, um, makes sense and points towards customer C, which is your thesis statement. And then a conclusion sentence to sum up um, this piece of evidence and how this piece of evidence does support um, customer C committing this crime. Okay, when you move into body paragraphs two and three, you do them the exact same way as body paragraph one. It's just that you're using your second and um, third piece of evidence against or that helped the investigators accuse customer C. And then you end um, with a conclusion paragraph where you restate your claim, which is that customer C um, killed Fannin. And then the so what. For the so what, think about what's the next step? Like, what does it mean that we've accused customer C? Well, it means that he's missing and that we need to go find him. Um, you know, you could make a comment about the fact that, um, you know, Ernie's lunchroom might not be the same for a while. You could make a comment about... Um, Fannin's life and how it, you know, his life is no longer. Um, you could make a comment about, um, you know, just 
the difficulty that the that the um, investigators might have in going to find C. Um, just just where where do you go from here? So again, this is an essay outline only. Yes, you need complete sentences, but um, we're not going to take it past outline form. Three pieces of evidence, um, and this is in preparation for tomorrow when you begin your actual social studies essay for half of you, or in preparation for the essay that some of you will be writing a few weeks from now. This is homework due tomorrow, Thursday, if you do not finish it. I will be collecting it for a DP grade. Okay? Email me, email me if you have any questions. Thanks.